Uh, this train was set up. Okay, we'll just keep continuing on uh, game speed too. Until maybe at some point in the future we don't have to micromanage so much. We're in a recession though, which is, uh, oof, yeah, it's not good. Hopefully our purchasing power holds, well, holds. I'm gonna keep my eye on this train, because I want to optimize it a little bit. Alright, in Vroklav, from there we can go to... Um... Lodz, I guess, unless we got other trains going now. We do. Well, we could go to Bratislava, I suppose. There's not a whole lot of demand, but at least... It's a bit of travel time. Maybe it's better with Krakow, actually. Since the distance in airline isn't that long, but it's kind of like a U-turn of a track to get there. So from Vroklav to Bratislava might not be the best route. Um, wait, which train was I looking at? Vroklav, Krakow, there's no other train going Krakow. No. No, yeah, we'll do that. This thing's about to hit Warsaw. It's in customs? Oh, right, because Gdansk is a port town. But it's only transporting passengers, that shouldn't matter. Oh, no, coming from Bratislava. Okay, so we need custom houses at some point, maybe. Unfortunately, Warsaw does not have anything to load up on. So we'll wait until it's unloaded, and then we'll send it off somewhere else. This train hit loads. Got us a bit to pick up. And we could go to Bratislava from loads, I guess. Maybe. This is getting a bit convoluted, not gonna lie. We'll do that. Bratislava. New engine available, a steam engine in the year 1998. That's interesting. Quite expensive to run and whatnot, cheap to purchase though. Compared to the uh, really fast electrical trains. Oh, we really need to watch that. Uh... Yeah. Ah, we'll send us to Poznan with no cars on it. Uh, we need to watch and make sure that we, uh... Yeah... Keep this positive, and we should get it up higher as well, but... If we're in a recession, we're in a recession, there's not really that much we can do about it. It's just the luck of the draw, basically. Alright, so from Krakow... I guess we could go to Gdansk again. Four passenger trains might have been a little bit overkill, actually. But I mean, profits last year on these passenger trains. I mean, we're still making decent money. Train 4 hasn't really made a lot. Lifetime, we've made 1k on this train. That's about to change when it hits Gdansk, and it's, the other trains have had the luxury of, you know, running in boom years, and this mainly in recession years. But we're going to push it up to 200k profit when we hit Gdansk. I'm going to keep an eye on the Lutz train here. Well, I mean, it's going to unload and get food. And then when it gets back back to Gdansk, that's when I need to look into it a little bit more. So in Gdansk, we'll get all that we can here. And we will ship that off to... Um, let's say Bratislava again for this train as well. Just so that it goes quite a while, or like a distance. Uh, no, go back to Poznan, load up on this. Go, go, go. And from Poznan, we could go to Vroklav. So I want this train going like doing tires and then like grain food. Tires, grain food tires, basically, is what I'm thinking. 
Now we're starting to get enough money that we can actually expand a little bit further towards Russia and maybe get some of those free monies they were mentioning. But we need a little bit more money before we can even do that though. Okay, so in Bratislava we can pick up this, get a dining car, and send that off to Bidgo. I'm not doing this optimally right now, but it, it should be fine. What I really need to keep an eye on is the uh, this train right here, which maybe should be a different kind of train, because these cars weigh a lot, 45 tons. 40 tons, compared to passengers weighing well, 40 tons. Okay, so it's just the fact that it's got uh, six cars on it, I suppose. We'll make all the passenger ones express. Just so this thing doesn't block them. Only got four passenger trains, so like, it's not like our lines are like clogged up or anything. And here could dance for 99k profit. Our purchasing power's going up, so uh, we're on the right track. From Gdansk, there isn't really that much to bring along at the moment, so we'll just take the tires with us to Bidgo and see how that goes. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, got to start looking into some more industry expansions. Which, uh, why don't I just do that right now, actually? We can uh, get these log things connected up, get a sanding tower going here. And we can get a train going. Uh, we can carry pulpwood to Krakow. Now we'll go with logs first. From here to Lodz, to maybe Gdansk, we can have one train going with Lumbo. We'll just transport four, I think, since the demand isn't massive. And then we can have another train kind of running uh, uh, to Posnan, maybe. With four. We gotta keep an eye on our passenger trains. And we gotta, like in this screen, keep an eye on the passenger trains. In the other screen, or like, actually visually keep an eye on the goods trains, if we can. The one that I just set up should be pretty much automatical. We don't really need to attend that too much. I'm just wondering more about uh, the first goods train that we put into action. Profits are going up. Net worth is going down, but I think that's pretty true across the board since we're in a depression. Alright, we're in Vroklav. There's only one mail available here. This is train number... They all have, like, names. I don't like that. I want them just to have numbers. Alright, from Vroklav to Warsaw. And we'll take it from there. Alright, we're in Budgo. Not a whole lot to load up on her. Not gonna lie. We might uh, redirect one of these passenger trains there to be a goods train instead, actually. This one can go from Bidgo to Lodz, though. So how much grain is going to be here? Three. And the demand for food is... It's decent. It's not super good, but it ain't bad either. Lucrative profits on this one last year. I mean, we could purchase industries, but I really think it's going to be detrimental for us to do so. We should just make the money, and if the AI buys up the industries, then I guess we know we're doing good. Although the extra profit could maybe come in handy, but it's... Ah, uh, well, ah, uh, you know, we got another 20 years, so... It could... could make sense. Either way, in Lodz, sir, there's a lot to pick up for once, so that's good. And uh, we can send that to... Is there any other train going to Poznan? No, so let's go Poznan with that. And yeah, I really think we're gonna have one train not do passengers anymore, because the demand isn't really that great at the moment, so... Uh, from here to... well, back to Vroklav should do, I suppose. Listen, Budgo. 
not much to pick up there either. Go down to Bratislava and hope there's something to pick up when it gets there. No, there won't be actually, because we got another train coming in that direction. Maybe Warsaw? No, Krakow. Yeah, I think three passenger trains, that's uh, gonna be sufficient. If I'm being honest. Let me just look here real quick. Um, right, I'm gonna take this train and I'm gonna make a copy of it. Uh, but we're gonna go to Posnan instead with this. I'm just gonna wait for full load before it starts moving. Or four cars, which isn't all that much, but okay, Bratislava. Right, so go from Bratislava once that's unloaded to uh, the junction here, then the Krakow with four pulpwood. Turn that into paper. And who demands paper? No one's really the many paper Posnanus. Warsaw. We'll do Posnan. Right, so three passenger trains should suffice. Uh, we, we're all sending a train to Posna, won't we? Yeah, so, and one to Warsaw, so I think just back to Krakow should do for this. Heading for Bratislava, didn't it just unload at Bratislava? Krakow Junction, let's go! Right, then we have... Oh, I messed up with this one. I'm gonna have it run five green cars. I think. I'm just gonna wait for that to fill up and then go. We might have to. Uh, we might have to do a little bit of changes to that, but. I mean, things are going the right way. Uh, it's just gonna be slowly going the right way, though. Then here to the paper mill with the pulp wood. Which will make a little bit of profit at least. Hope this recession ends soon. It's not going to make a whole lot of profit. I think maybe buying some of these industries could be a good call. Could also be very bad. Uh, Brenner. Hmm. Interesting name. We just played the Brenner Pass last episode. Or last scenario. This is probably a multi-episode scenario. Because I'm playing it so slow as I don't want to mess up and there's a lot of micromanagement required if you really wanna do really good so we'll go to Gdansk on Postnan I think we just leave these trains running it should be fine it's just micromanage the passenger trains and then we're good fully load her uh, in Vroklav and take that to Budgo I suppose nothing else is going there right now no I like this. Now we got some good trains running. It looks good. I like it. I'll just wait to make a little bit of profit and then we see what we can do. I mean, we could probably buy this, right? Ten years is going to make up for itself. And we're going to be running it, so we'll be making some profit off it. But we shouldn't buy any industries that aren't gonna be likely to make back the, uh, the money that we put into them uh, within 10 years. Unloading Krakow, yeah, very nice. Okay. I think we're doing pretty decent right now. Kinda wanna expand to Kaliningrad, but how much will it cost to buy access? into the Russian Federation. One and a half mil. Okay, I guess we start saving up for that. We've included some industries here. There are more we could include, but let's not clog up the tracks too much, I guess. So, I mean, if we could find a fertilizer plant. Calm me back on track. Perfect. So there we go, purchasing power up immediately. We really need to not hit any more recessions or anything right now though. So Warsaw here as well could connect these farms. Ah, look at that, the sound of money. Fantastic. Wow, train one has been robbed. 
Well, I mean, we've seen one robbery so far, so I don't think that really warrants uh, any actual worry. We'll maybe lower this down to three on this. Because now they're both going back to pick up uh, logs. Uh, okay, maybe we don't want two trains on the logs. Because seemingly it just doesn't produce enough logs. So we might reroute one of those trains to do something else. Time will tell. Okay, one bit go. It's a lot to pick up here. Lots of mail, lots of passengers. We can take that to... Any demand for that anywhere? Yeah, in Volklav. Fantastic. So now we'll be making a little bit more money with these passenger trains every time they hit the station since... We're not flooding. Four is a bit too much. Three is a bit too little. But better a little bit too little than a little bit too much, though, I would say. Alright, so I'm looking into logs, sir. I would say that this thing, Krakow Junction, Lodz, uh, Gdansk, this is the train we're going for. This train we just put out of action, send it over to Warsaw to sit around. Go unloading in Bidgo. Let's get our dining, a couple of passenger cars, send that down to Bratislava and it's starting to gather up a little bit of uh, stuff for us. I need to keep an eye on this. No, not this. Now, where's the train running this? So when this gets back to Gdansk, right, I think four. Four grain, that's sufficient. Then it won't be so slow either, so that's good. Ah, train number four here should no longer be an express train, by the way. Maybe the passenger train shouldn't be either, if I'm honest. But yeah, I mean, money's starting to come in. Things are looking good. Um, yeah, we just load up this sir, and then we go to Krakow with this train. Because no other passenger train's going to Krakow right now, right? No, good. Um, yeah, well, let's see. Uh, increased salary by 3,000, 24,000, that's nice. Revenues are finally starting to go in the right direction here. Net worth is back above where we have been before. Fantastic, we have uh, 20 years to make another 16 millions. And now we're getting to the point where we can start to some degree snowballing. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, there's, there's four to pick up here. Actually, let's just wait for five, I guess. Right, because then we're sure that this train will get everything out of that uh, station. Also, let's rename this to Krakow Lumber Yards. Wait a minute, why is this going to Krakow and has nothing in it? Go back to Gdansk. Pick up a still, what the hell? Go do it. We could buy some... Uh, station buildings, I suppose, to increase profits of passenger traffic. But I'm just not so keen to do it, if I'm honest. we will probably go back to game speed 3 as well. Okay, I'm trying to see if maybe we can do something with the steel industry. We can. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put standing tower here. And okay, we'll send this... Uh, Train over to the Lodz Junction instead, then to Postnam. Then I want to put in another station as well, but we'll get to that. Okay, actually, let's slow it down and think about what we're doing here. Just trying to include what we already have a rail set, so we just kind of squeeze max profit out of that. I don't want this station to um, touch on the um, farms at all. The single track should be enough here, and then we just get like a small station. Put a sanding tower in. And we get back to this, and we also run it to Budgos Junction. Load up four iron trains or cars on both of these iron mines before progressing any further. And we'll rename this to Iron Mine. And then the last one, Lutz Junction, will be Lutz. Iron Mine. So one train should be enough to cover both those. And the lumber yards are well serviced. So is the grain supply here. 
Might be a little bit overkill with five cars. Actually, no, we're going four cars. Okay, yeah, that's not overkill. Next station, Gdansk. Coming in with four food cars that are fully loaded. Yeah, I think four. That should do. Ah, game speed three, I guess. Okay, now we're starting to make a little bit uh, of something out of these various industries, so... Maybe we tie up this uh, iron mine here as well to our network. If I could just get the damn station I want. Crack out. Iron mine. Going prosperity, that's what I like to see. Gonna connect this up like so. Wait a minute, if I just do this instead. Hang on a sec. Why is this being weird like this? Ah, either way, we're gonna have one that going there, and maybe this one is superfluous, but uh, nah, probably isn't. So, where is the iron train? Can it handle the supply of all four of these? Maybe? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Time will tell, because um, I think we go with the big door iron mine later, since that hasn't really had time to build up that much iron just yet. But there's already four waiting for the train in Krakow. So we kind of got to keep an eye on these things and micromanage them, but uh, now the money should start rolling in a little bit more. I think we can buy the steel mill here as well. Ah, the sound of money. And I don't even have to micromanage it. That much, anyway. From Wroclaw to Warsaw seems to be a good choice. Let's do that. Krakow Lumberyards, going back to pick up some more of that pulp wood. Fantastic. We'll see if one train is enough to service all three of these uh, iron mines. Then if we find a coal mine to connect as well. Hang on, this needs oil, actually. Turns it into diesel. Hang on, let's pause this real quick. Okay, so get down, squading for cargo. It's got three full. Yeah, I think we have pretty much hit the hammer on the head with that. Or the nail on the head with that one. Taking this to Gdansk as well. I think, yeah. Yeah, this station is fully serviced and operational. That, that one's doing good. Uh, just so I can see what the actual hell is going on around here, I'm going to remove the trees real quick, because there's a fuck ton of them. So we got some iron mine here. I mean, if we get iron mines going, we can then also uh, transport that to the auto plant. Uh, the steel, coal, this is already being produced or supplied with iron. So we can get a coal train going in, converting the steel, taking that to the auto plant. Then we could maybe make some autos out of that, send that to one of these ports here, and I think we could connect this other port here as well. And with that, we can then have enough tires coming in from both of these, it's just like, whenever the steel comes in, that produces cars, and whenever the coal comes in, that produces steel. So I think that's a good option. Purchasing power's going up, so yeah, we are on an upward trajectory right now, which is very nice. Got all this good stuff connected. We can make something out of cotton and wool over here. This one's lucrative. We're gonna buy that then. And these are good. We'll wait for them to be lucrative before we buy them though. This one's lucrative as well. Let's buy it. It'll make us money back in within 10 years. Mediocre. Yeah. Not worth making some money, but we can definitely increase that in time. Okay, so there's one more connection I want to make here, and that is to, uh, to this, these two farms there. And then I want to start expanding to other places. Maybe farm sir, convert the food, go to Posnan with the food. Could buy this, um... I know, let's just, I think, uh... Issue bonds, right, with interest rate 6%, it's whatever. We'll just buy this really, real quick. Yeah, because that's... Alright, so what's the interest rate? That means we pay 60,000 every year, and this makes 48,000 every year. 
And then we just repay the bonds and uh, profit. That's the plan anyway. I think we're doing good. Only got seven trains operating and we're already like it's going pretty well. If I must say so myself. Need some money for a bridge over here. Actually, let's just get that going. We'll issue some more bonds and just get that going as well. Right, over here maybe a medium station will be enough. It will certainly. Hey, okay, sanding tower. And we need... Ah, we'll just issue more bonds. We'll pay them back soon enough. It's it's fine. All right, let's just get these trains going now. We'll get another one of these. It's been serving us well so far. Warsaw Junction, Lutz, Poznan. And I'm thinking... Maybe we don't overload these trains too much. One can go to Poznan with some food. And one can go to, say, Warsaw with some food. So we can have two trains there. Uh, I'll just wait for that train there to load up on uh, grain first though and then drive off and then we'll set the other one to load up all right it's loaded up it's leaving we're in bratislava dining three passenger and send that to Poznan. looks like a good idea all right and then we can set up this train we go from here to Lodz. to hey let's make it just so that we don't have uh have the trains waiting for too long at the station. We'll send it to Bratislava. That's quite a fair distance as well. And we've got Dansk, Gdansk, Poznan and Bratislava supplied with food then. And this has... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, the, yeah, the lumberjar, uh, Lumberyard guys over here are doing fine. I think that's all I want to connect in Poland for now. For now, this is good in Poland. Then we also have the... Uh, hang on, so we could take oil to here from one of the ports but is there anything that demands diesel whatsoever no I don't really think so so we'll wait with that until we can actually get something that also demands diesel alright I think we're on, uh, on track for something good here I'm quite liking this scenario not gonna lie so far it's been pretty interesting actually because you got to really think about what you do. You can't just hammer out some long distance passenger lines and call it a day as you have been able to in many of these previous missions I've been playing. And also, maybe you can make some industry profit. But let's see, we also have this train here going around picking up iron. Krakow mine is going to have five. That's very productive uh, mine right there. But okay, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on this. We're just going to pick up the four that's available there first. Or, Actually, since we're keeping an eye on it, let's take all five, I guess, and just transport them and then see how much is there when we get back. Uh, now the micromanagement of the passenger trains are starting to become a bit tedious, but... Oh well. Kind of want to make that connection, though, so trains can come from here and go this way without having to swing by this intersection junction here. I mean, our track laying is far from optimal. We got some superfluous tracks and such, but... I don't know, I mean, they're running on these tracks still, even though this track is here, so that could mitigate some traffic in this area and alleviate a little bit of traffic issues, so... And so could having this, I mean... I don't know, it's not too bad. I feel like we've pretty much connected up. Everything is worthwhile connecting up, huh? For now, anyway. I mean, we could go for, like, single farms, and you know what? Maybe we will, actually. But I'm just worried it might clog up the, the railroad a little bit. But then we could supply all the cities here with food. And have a really good network going on that. Uh, but either way, I'm going to go for another quick break. I need to make some food, so I will edit you to when I'm back. Alright, and uh, off we go again. It looks like maybe we can uh, only load up three pulpwood on this, and that should still be a decent amount. Uh, just looking at how the other trains are doing. Looks good, I guess. No reason to have longer trains on the tracks than we need to. And we have these trains here in operation. They're moving quite fast, so... Ah, Warsaw. And go from Warsaw to... Who knows? Um... 
Postnan seems like a good option. Ah, uh, there's another thing going to Postnan already. Krakow. Ah, uh, there's another thing going to Krakow already. But there's a lot of stuff in Krakow. Ah, uh, well. There's actually six cars ready, though. We'll, we'll go to Gdansk. That should, uh... That should work out for us. I'm just worried I might have, um... These trains might be draining the station faster than resupplies. We'll have to see. And there's the Iron Mine tra uh, train here that I kind of want to be on top of. Okay, so in Krakow... Ah, it's lost a bit of its supply, but... There's five passengers still here. And uh, we can take a train from here to... Um, Bidgo, maybe? But yeah, so it's this one. I don't necessarily want to have... Oh man, there's even a new iron car ready there immediately. I'm hoping four isn't too little. It's gonna get to that, it's gonna be five as well. Okay, I think we run five iron cars, and uh, we'll adjust that if needs be. But this is when I should invest in industry, I think. Purchasing power going up, that's nice. But yeah, as I said, this is probably when I should be investing in industry a little bit. Um, before they start making serious bang for the buck. Or like serious money, I guess. Gotta keep an eye on these food trains though, because I don't want them to be waiting long at the f or waiting around at the farms for too long. Hmm. Yeah, we, we just gotta s uh, purchase some industries, I think, is what we're doing now, and then we uh, expand into Russia, basically. We got a good thing going. It's gonna get even better. Alright, Postnan, we can load up on mail, four passengers, and we'll throw in a dining car as well on that. Take that to Lutz, maybe. No other trains going there, right? Nope, good. There's a lot to pay attention to now to try to optimize things a little bit. When this gets back, the, yeah, well, maybe it's it's gonna go with an empty, like no cars now. Once it's done unloading, cuts my salary by one thousand, but it's fine. Profits are down a little bit, but we'll get there. So we're a quarter of the way to the uh, network that we need to have, and we have another nineteen years to get there. So that's not too bad. Alright, we're in Postman, but we can load up on this. And then we have a train already going to Lutz. Now wait a minute, what's going on here? Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, go back to Lutz, right. Okay, I want to get this uh, steel mill. So we can start making money off that. Ah, that's unfortunate. There's nothing in Gdansk right now. So, we'll go to Warsaw, I guess, and pick up some stuff there. And Budgo. Also nothing to pick up, so okay, we'll have to go to another station and find some stuff. Krakow seems okay, as long as no other trains are going there, they are. Last year, 50,000. I think that's going to increase over time, though. I'm not sure, some of these have a lot more iron than others. So we're going to have to monitor this train a little bit, and also these trains to make sure that there's actually enough grain that they don't have to stand around and wait for too long. This is making really good money. This should be as well. I mean, it already is, but uh, we can probably make more in the future. These are very lucrative, so we should probably get them as well. Just buy up the industry now, well, it kind of makes sense to do so. 
Okay, just gonna return from Bratislava, and it's not really gonna be a whole lot of grain on those farms. A fertilizer plant would really help us out. But, uh, yeah, that's for the future. Possibly. I don't think we're gonna be buying the iron mines. Because that's a little bit, uh, we only have one train running between them, so... It's not necessarily optimal. Now we got four uh, mail and there's demand for that in Bratislava, so let's head over there. Unloading the loads, picking up one more mail. And we can take that to... Budgo. Yeah, that seems fine. Just a different level of micromanagement when you're playing around with uh, these faster trains, so... Okay, we're about to hit the Warsaw. Unloading. And we're going from Warsaw to, I suppose, back to Postman. Let's uh, pause the game real quick. I want to see how my various trains are doing right now. This is loading up five iron, and there's even more iron ready available, or readily available at the station. Hmm, maybe I don't wait for full load, but at least a half full load, and just keep this on five, so I don't have to micromanage it so much. And it will go between all the different iron mines. We also should purchase the logging camps. It's going to make up for itself before 2020 at least. And uh, this thing, uh, it's not really making a whole lot, but maybe in time it will. So I think that's the industries that we'll be purchasing. Maybe this one at some point. It just kind of depends a little bit. Uh, but yeah, now I think we just save up money to uh, get into Russia, basically. So we just let the game run a little bit. What's this train doing? Okay, it's about to pick up grain. There's four grain on the station right now. I think it should work out. We might need to do some changes. Oh, wait a minute. What's this train doing here? Go back to Bratislava. Pick up that one passenger there and just take that to... Gdansk, maybe? Alright, so this train over here is now waiting for a lot of cargo. Uh, so if we just downsize a little bit how much it carries... I think that could improve the profitability of it. Uh, this thing's getting to the Krakow Lumberyard. And uh, then there's a lot to actually pick up. So it's going from Krakow to Lodz. Lodz to Gdansk. Uh, so if we switch this to four... I don't even know, maybe we run six. I don't know, I feel like two trains could be better here, but I'm not entirely sure though. If we go four, there will be three logs already waiting there. So okay, we, we try one more train on that. And if that's too much, then we can always just redirect the train somewhere else. Ah, I missed on a passenger train, so just transporting empty goods around. Actually, I don't want the passenger trains to run uh, express anymore. Not necessarily making us that much money compared to the other goods trains right now. Now that we also own the industry. Uh, or the industries that we are interacting with. This is what I was afraid of. It's now kind of waiting here for a while. Uh, hopefully production ramps up or something so that it's not going to be too bad for us. Right, and then we... Ah, uh, we don't have enough money for another train just yet. Do we have bonds outstanding? Yeah, three of those. Okay, so we need to repay those and then start thinking about getting into Russia. I messed up on another train as well. That's unfortunate, but boom time's ahead though, so that's good. Right, I'm starting to mess up a little bit on the passenger train, so micromanagement is slipping because there's so much to... Keep in mind right now, I don't want to just put them on, like, automatic though, because we still need to optimize these trains, which right now we haven't, but... Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping we'd get another one of these, but, uh... 
gonna have to wait a little while for that. How much did it cost exactly? 320,000, so once the Gdansk train hits, then we're good to go. Actually, we're good to go. So, instead of Krakow, Lodz, Gdansk, maybe this one goes to Warsaw, and then back. Alright, yeah, well, it should work out, hopefully. If it doesn't, we'll, uh, we'll deal with it. It's in customs right now, and then you can pick up the full load. And head over to Poznan. I don't believe any other trains were headed there. Actually, one other train was headed there. So, back to Bratislava, I suppose. This thing's unloading in Budgo. One passenger on it already. So we can make that four passengers and send it over to Warsaw. Which is where this train's going actually, so never mind that. We could send it to Vroklav instead. Unloading in Gdansk. And yep, just fill up on that. Fantastic. Let's see next year how much uh, profit these various industries are making. I'm not sure if this is uh, too good. Okay, I picked up five there. There's going to be five there. It'll probably be five there. Yeah, I think we run this with just five from each mine. That seemingly does the trick. Every train is making profit, at least, some more than others, but in conjunction with the industries that we own, that should boost up the profits a little bit. Hmm. I'm interested to see next year how well we are doing. Net wealth is going up, and now we save money, repay bonds, expand to Russia. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it, I believe. There's a fertilizing plant, so that could be quite useful. Polska National Stock Split, two for one. Direct increase salary by 4,000. Very nice. Profits are now topping everyone else, and it's the highest profits anyone's had so far. Good, we're on the right track. 7 million personal wealth, fantastic. And in Warsaw, we can load up on six passenger cars, which we can then send off to... There's another train going to Poznan, right? No, not at this time, so we go Poznan. Right, and we can repay one of these bonds. Just so we don't pay out the uh, interest on that every year. I mean, we could just get the personal net wealth up, and then we just shoot down some tracks to connect the cities. Oh, but it's going to cost a lot in uh, track laying rights across the various nations, though. So we, we definitely need to expand our rail network a little bit so that we can make more profits. So pretty sure that's going to be the way to go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Income's been good. 72,000 for the bakery, 25,000 for this. Going to make up for itself in... Less than 10 years, 118,000 on this, very nice. Um, yeah. So far so good. Uh, I don't mind profitability, it's good. These aren't making that much money, why exactly not? Hmm, that's a bit concerning. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I think we got a good cycle going on these, hopefully. Right, we're in Vroklav with this. And load up what we can and continue on to Krakow. We're gonna repay some more bonds. It's really going the right way now. This one's doing really good. Yeah, now like profits are finally starting to be quite nice. And in Poznan, we drop one passenger and pick up a mail. 
Maybe go to Bratislava. Now it's not a train header though already actually. Um, maybe just over the big though. Bid go. And oh, maybe we can repay the last one here now. Fantastic. No more bonds. Very nice. Now we can start focusing on expanding towards Russia, which at this current point in time costs... Um, almost 2 million. What kind of managers do we have available? Uh, well... Uh, yeah, I mean... Mm, I'll just stick with the one I have for now, to be honest. We haven't really been saving that much on these diesel trains, 30% overall, so... Oh well, it's it's a little bit at least. Okay, so that's loading up, and it will have to wait a little bit before it can, it can be fully loaded, but then everything should be good. Right, in Krakow we pick up mail and four passengers, which we can ship over to Gdansk. And then we can speed it up one notch at the very least. Things are starting to look quite nice. And the lumber yard is two logs waiting for this train. But this other train has just picked up logs, so by the time the other train gets there, they shouldn't have to wait long at least. So I think, yeah, I think we, we got this... Uh, Going pretty good right there, right now. Now I just need to save up to 2 million. That shouldn't take too long at the rate things are going right now. I think we send this over to Vroklav. Ah, actually, yeah, we should get this uh, track going over here as well. Ah, we can't right now. Just so if they go through here, they won't go through here and create uh, traffic jams. There we go, a little bit of money. And such. That should be fine. Purchasing power going up steadily and slowly but steadily. So it's a net worth, which is very nice. We can, uh, we could probably start funneling cash into our own pockets, but I'm just not going to do that just yet. Let's make operations a little bit more financially viable, and then we start thinking about completing the tasks that we have at hand. From Vroklav to Gdansk, I think. There's a lot of demand in Gdansk. Okay, all these are now somewhere unloading. This is... Unloading Gdansk as we speak. What it happens to be. Wait, is this loading or unloading? Can we take all this from Gdansk or is it dropping it off? Either way, we'll find out. Uh, from Vroklav to Gdansk. Unloading in Bratislava. From there, I can go to Lutz with uh, these cars. Uh, just about to hit Gdansk. Okay, I'll just do it this way. It's going to hit Gdansk. This is full club to Gdansk. Okay, I think we got it. Uh, got it all. Uh, this is waiting for cargo, so maybe it's a little bit overkill. Profits are going up still. Net worth is just kind of going all the way up here. Since we hit the recession, that could change though, but our purchasing power is tremendous at the moment. Uh, I'm a bit concerned it might be too much with uh, four cars here, unless we can supply this with various things. I'll drop one of the cars, one of the trains down to three, the other one can keep operating with four, and then we'll kind of see in time how things change. There's a lot to keep an eye on right now. We can't just kind of set it and forget it. It's not going to work too well. Uh, there's a lot of trains heading to Postnam right now. Nope, so we'll head over to Postnam. Getting close to be able to uh, 
Ooh, a brick then. That's unfortunate. We can have a roundhouse there though. We have one here, so like the most passed through places we have. Roundhouses. I mean, breakdowns are inevitable. It's gonna happen at some point. Uh, but other than that, we're doing pretty okay. Actually, we could expand like this as well. Just to lessen the uh, traffic issues. Hopefully. If you have too many networks, like too many bends and turns close to each other in cross sections and such, then that's going to create issues of its own. So, something to keep in mind. Let's go to Warsaw from uh, Lourdes. Right, last year we made 29,000 off that. I mean, the iron mines are gonna maybe like one year they make some money, and then next year they don't make so much money. Um, yeah, but all very lucrative actually, so maybe we just buy them and let's see. 34,000, yeah, it's gonna make up for self before the scenario is over, so we just go for them. Sure thing. 154,000 just from delivering eye onto this thing so far, that's pretty nice. Wait a minute, what happened though? Ah, whatever, we'll just run it. Like it is. Not gonna bother. Uh, okay, when Posnan unloading, so let's get... Stuff that's in Posnan stuck on here. Maybe go down a crack out uh, with it. Am I doing this 100% optimally? No. But it's probably good enough. As long as it's good enough, well, it's good enough. I really wouldn't mind transporting that oil, but the thing is, there's nowhere to take the diesel yet, so... I'm not super keen on it, to be honest. Okay, when we get done, load up on this and go to Bratislava. Wait a minute, this unloading Warsaw. So we're going from we'll go from Warsaw to Vroklav. Ah, uh, if I'm being honest, maybe, maybe four is good enough. Maybe four is good. Maybe that will do. Maybe it will work. Getting close to being able to afford the uh, Russian connection here. Although that is kind of going the wrong way from where we need to go. If we went into Berlin instead. Although we could move along here, like have a rail set up here. Okay, I'm just going to have to um, inspect this area and see what kind of viability we have on doing stuff here. Does this require gravel? This is bauxite to aluminium. Hmm, there's a lot of these around, so I mean we could just connect up quite a few industries. There's coal here. We do want some coal, actually. There's some bauxite. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think we should expand in this general direction. Take it all the way to St. Petersburg and then just kind of see what's up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Then we can, because uh, like here we have to compete with these other people and they have tracks laid down and all that sort of stuff. So, well, there are a few good options, industry-wise. Oh, well, not really that many in Germany. These uh, power plants, they need coal. No, sorry, I mean diesel. Hmm. I, don't know, I think we go to Kaliningrad first and then connect further through Lithuania. Okay, Vroklav, load up on this and go from Vroklav to Krakow. Unless the other trains are going there right now. Uh, we have one train, it's about to get there, so. Never mind that then. Uh, Bid go. No one's visited that in a little while. So we got some potential there. Okay, let's check the annual reports now. I'm kind of interested. Increasing my salary still. Revenues are down a little bit, but it's 
not too bad. Net worth is way past the 50% mark of where we need to be. Uh, what kind of managers are we talking here? Electric building cheaper, blah blah blah, nah. Train safety higher, revenue higher, blah blah, nah. Nah, I'm just not too psyched about either of these. Uh, but let's go in here and actually get those territories. Russian Federation, we now have access, and if we would want to have further access into uh, Lithuania, that's 42,000, so we just go for that for sure. And Latvia, 462,000, we can't quite afford that, but we're not far off either. And either way, now we can go into uh, the Russian Federation over here. And I think we should have other trains doing that than the one that we have already... Or the one that we're already using for most of our routes. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, be honest and say I think this needs to go to uh, three trains instead of three cars. Oh no, wait, this filled up. Okay, yeah, it's, we're fine, we're good. We don't need to make any changes still. Uh, these iron mines... Uh, well, they're a little bit overflowing an iron, but shouldn't necessarily be a massive problem. Alright, so we take this from Krakow to Gdansk. I don't think anything's heading there at the moment. So if I just look at the various industries. 37,000 last year from this. 32 from that, that's pretty good. 174,000 from that, hell yeah. Um, 16 from that, it's okay. It's gonna go up and down a bit with those. Ah, we have lumber mill here now, but we already have one that we're using in Lutz, and that's good enough for me. 45,000 from the lumber mill, 85,000 from the bakery, 70,000 from the paper mill, 30,000 from the logging camps, 46,000 from this iron mine. These farms are making not so much, to be honest. A bit ineffective, it seems. And I will actually continue the track down here to this farm and add on another grain train. All right, um, there we go. All right, a sanding tower should do. Viv farm. Viv farm, I don't know how you say that, but whatever. So we're gonna wait until we can afford another train. I'm kind of expanding in two different directions now, which is maybe a little bit counterintuitive. Right, how much here? Actually, there's four grain cars available there now. Maybe we actually do wait for these to have four grain each. Yeah, I, f I think so. Well, we shouldn't mess around too much with these things. I think we're on, uh, on the track for success. One train going here, between this, two lords back to Warsaw and back here. That should do the trick for that. Don't necessarily want to purchase this farm, but I, I think we will actually. If I'm honest. But right now we need to make some money. Come on, bring it in. Bring it in. Although Lutz, Lutz is uh, getting a bit trafficy. Uh, maybe we should redirect these trains to Krakow instead and the lumber mill there. You see, here's the... Okay, here's the thing. We need to maybe build some tracks to go around Lutz. So the trains can kind of... Take some different routes and not clog up Lutz too much. We'll just make a track there. And we'll make one here. This might not actually help the problem at all. But it could. And if it could, then I will try it out to see what happens. Okay, that should be enough to expand this track a little bit. Nope, it was not. Yeah, it's kind of clogging a bit over there for sure. Which is not ideal. Yeah, the income is uh, slow right now. I should focus my efforts on one thing. I'm all over the place right now because I got several things that I want to do. 
Maybe this is fine. I don't know. Okay, unloading in Bratislava. There's one train to bring from there, and then we can just go uh, back up to Gdansk, I suppose. Right, now we can do this. It's not optimal or ideal or anything, but hopefully it alleviates pressure on loads a little bit. That's my main goal with that. We've gotten to the place where we can speed it up to game speed 4 now. Three trains to manage here. And I think we're doing okay with that. So from Bidgo to Vroklav maybe. And unloading in Gdansk. We can pick up this. And go to Warsaw with it. Actually, let's... Um, Lower the speed a little bit again, and uh, yeah, this thing is soon gonna be out of uh, out of well being able to be purchased. So we're gonna just have this load up on. Well, we'll wait for six grain, I guess. All right, first first run we'll do six grain, and then we'll see how much is on the station when it gets back. All right, gonna go to Lodz, then back to Warsaw. And now this thing in Warsaw Junction here. Uh, so it's a little bit up and down with the grain here, but okay, at least they're loading up and... Well, whatever. Warsaw Farms. It's not optimal to cut my salary. The economy's still booming. Revenue's going down now, though. Net worth, however, is going up, so that's good. Um, <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, we have a bit of money to shell out here, so we're just going to pause the game and continue our expansion into... Russian Federation over here. Kaliningrad. Then I have another plan for train. Let's get a roundhouse going here. Get this train. We send it from Gdansk to Bugdo. Kaliningrad to Bugdo. I'm saying that wrong, I know. I'm just gonna have uh, it carry three tires every time. It will basically be carrying tires back and forth. And then we can get coal connected up here. And then we can get that coal sent over to the steel mill. And take steel here. And produce cars. And once we do that, then well, things can be good. Two steel and one tire equals one auto. No, uh, three auto, I mean. Uh, so, yeah, we got to find a good way to set up that um, production loop there. Now we're just going to not do any passenger stuff here just yet. I want just like one passenger train going, running here. Maybe two passenger trains running up and down the coast here once we have all the cities connected. Then we'll see if there's any more minor profit we can squeeze out and then we'll focus more on uh, net wealth and expanding to the cities that we do need to have uh, connected to. Right, and Vro Club, full train, and go from there to... Poznan, I suppose. No, not Berlin, Jesus Christ. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah, but load up in Volklav first, please. Thank you. What speed am I running it at now? Three? I mean... Yeah, let's just do three, I guess. This isn't going to make a lot of profits on its own, but if we can get this industry, we should be able to make some good money on this one pretty soon. Gdansk. Run three passengers down to Poznan. Another train headed to Poznan as well, but it should be fine. Right, yep, that's good. Just need a little bit more money to get this uh, thing here purchased. Ah, let's go for it. should be fine. I mean, it's fine until it isn't because too much happens at once, but... Oh well, so we're in Warsaw. From Warsaw we can go down to... Krakow, I think. That's a good next station for that train. Purchase this before it starts making some good
good money. Now that steel mill is gonna be skyrocketing in profits pretty soon. We need a little bit more money though so we can connect the coal mine. Wait, this produces diesel. But we are right, the problem was we didn't have anywhere to send the diesel. Alright, anyway, from Poznan to... Wow, Krakow is starting to get a little bit crowded with stuff, so let's head over there. Um, how do we do with this bridge over here? Hmm. Maybe we just move up the hill here. And do a turn. And over like such, yeah, I think so. Alright, unloading in Postman. Mail, passenger, passenger, dining. Take that to Bratislava. Keep expanding in the meantime. Turn like that so we don't have to deal with too much gradient. Ah, I'll wait for a little bit more money. Ah, oh, we also need uh, track lane rights in these countries. In fact, must not forget that. Okay, so from Krakow to... Hmm. Oak Club, maybe? Have we fixed the problem here? I mean, nothing's stuck in Lodz right now. I don't know. Just throwing more tracks at things might not be the best solution. Oh, sorry about that. Had a massive sneeze coming on now. Um, anyway, Latvia. Can we purchase rights? Yes. Very nice. Oh yeah, these iron mines are actually really quite profitable. You complete the ownership of the company, blah blah blah. Ah, there we go. New profit record that year. Fantastic. Net worth 14 mil. Gonna actually make a track go down there just so we don't convolute the rails too much. Ah, okay, in Krakow there's not much to pick up for this train unfortunately, but it can go from there to Lodz and then pick up something there at least. This thing in Wroclaw right now. We'll do this and then we can send it from Wroclaw to Warsaw. Actually gonna slow it down to 3 again. Either way, run along here. Might as well include this city in our cycle, I guess, or... Would we better just go over here? Yeah, we don't necessarily... It's four houses. We don't care necessarily too much about that. It's not going to be super good for us. Yeah, we'll make this... Uh, yeah, we'll lay the tracks down here in Riga. Then, then here comes the money maker. Here comes the money maker. Lipia. Lipaya. Coal mine. It's got a train on that. I would like to have the Dash 9 house. It's going to be handling a little bit more gradient. So 418,000 it cost. Uh, right, we have enough for it. And from here. To Posnan. A tree coal, take that coal from uh, I mean steel that it gets turned into here to bid go set over to Kaliningrad with some autos. I uh, might need some custom houses soon, but uh, we'll look into it when the time comes. A six steel, a six autos, or maybe more like this actually. Yeah, I think that's it. We take two coal, turn that into four steel, which we then turn into six autos. Then we put another uh, train on that as well. Because this thing's just pumping tiles in. From here to there, and there to there, back and forth. And this train will be operating a bit slower. So, yeah.
Any profits in this? No, not really. We need to transport the oil somewhere as well for the to be good profits. Alright, in Bratislava there's not much to pick up. There's a mail car, which we we'll just pick up that, I guess. We could send this train all the way to Kaliningrad, I suppose. I mean, why not? What's the better options? So many stations to check up by now. Maybe Warsaw. Yeah, we'll go with Warsaw first. Ah, oh, no, there's another one going there. Ah, Kaliningrad. We'll see how it goes. This is going to be a money maker. Once it starts hitting home. Already making 51,000 on this just from the tires alone. And this thing is going to go well above 200,000 a year. And also we load up on this. And we go to, let's say... I don't know, actually. Lutz, maybe? Damn it, I messed up a little bit there. Either way, Lutz. There we go. Krakow unloading. There's nothing to pick up in Krakow. That's disappointing. Send it over to Wuklav, I suppose, then. Now we need to start making some money. So we can buy another train to get on this route here. Hmm. Yeah, profits this year seemingly will be a lot lower than it has been so far. Wait, why is it going down here? Isn't this faster? Hang on, we need to... Uh, we need to incorporate a waypoint. I can't do that though. There we go, that's a waypoint. Right, it's going to Poznan next, right? I mean, it already is in Poznan actually. Uh, but that created for steel we should go to Bidgo back to Kaliningrad with six autos right, so we got a waypoint going over here, I just don't want them to flood the other lines too much wait, I'm missing out on passenger stuff now I feel like uh, anyway, we're in Vuklav here there, we'll slap on a dining and head to Posnan. Actually, go and load that up in Vauclav, though. Jesus Christ, game. And in Kaliningrad, well, there's much in Kaliningrad. But we can load up on that at least, and uh, maybe we go to Warsaw. This train's about to hit loads. I can load up on three passengers in a dining car, which you can then take to hmm, Gdansk, maybe. I don't know if they're taking this other, like. Is that gonna make them more likely to? Yeah, there we go. I don't know, this, this is a mess, but. If it's a functional mess, then I'm not too concerned. Alright, I messed up one of the trains, so. Increase, uh, they cut my salary, revenues are going down, networks going down. We certainly need to improve a little bit here, I'd say. This thing, it's just carrying too much, really. This should be the... Uh, New load, I think, and just wait for it to be fully loaded. Is this lucrative at all? Yes, we'll buy it. And then we're gonna get another train. I don't think we should be buying more industry now, though. We've already got enough. Ah, oh, damn it, now I need to make a. Ah, oh, Lord, 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 Lord. There, there, there. Okay, now it's not a problem. Two from there. Four of these from here. And then six 
Oros from there to Kaliningrad. Oh no, no, no. We can go with uh, Gdansk for this, so we don't kind of flood. Like, what is the demand though? Oros for, yeah, we don't want to over flood these things. Uh, so two steel plus one tile, three Oros. So they come in with four steel. And as tiles already here, let's create six Oros. So we have that set up pretty nicely. Recent discoveries by Dr. Bergans have made the possibility of a maglev locomotive possible. The estimated cost to develop this prototype, uh, prototype and make all necessary alterations except electrification of the track is two years at a cost of 20,000 a month. Shall we begin? No. No, we shall not. We'll just stick with diesel. Although it's not the best, uh, most cost effective way to do it, it should be fine. And I also want to get a third train on this uh, economy cooling. Uh, yeah, well, that's not what I want to hear. Do we want a connector? Yeah, we might as well, actually. Yeah, so let's have a look at this train so that we can copy it with another train like this. Going to Kaliningrad, making a little bit of money at least with these autos. Ah, what a beautiful train to behold. Very nice. The profits of this next year is going to be through the roof, I think. Same goes for, uh, or this year. So, I'm looking forward to the uh, 2007 report, actually. Uh, from Warsaw, we can go to Krakow. That's a more direct route now, so at least the passenger trains going through here are not going through Lutz anymore. Alleviating a little bit, uh, or alleviating a little bit of the uh, pressure on that station. Right, well, we got the coal mine here connected. I think running three trains should hopefully be good enough. Might want to get a custom south there, actually. I think we will. Custom south. Should be fine. Could probably do one in Poznan also. Just to speed things up a little bit. And we're about to hit Lodz with this train, so here we go. From Lodz, it could go to Bratislava, that seems okay. Then we need a station in Riga at some point. Right, we're just gonna sit back and wait for a little bit of money. Okay, well, we got a little bit of money. Right, this is now loading up in Krakow, from where it can go to Gdansk, let's say. Now there's actually another, okay, recession ahead, that's not what you want to see. We'll do Poznan instead, I think. Recession, yeah, that's uh, no bueno. Connect Riga here with a sanding tower, let's get a roundhouse going as well. Then continue our connection efforts through these countries here. Do we have track laying rights in Estonia? Um, let's see, 503,000 to get that. Even though it's a recession, I think we should be fine. It's just our total net worth is going down a bit and profits are going to decline a bit, but you know, we're going to bounce back at some point. The sooner the better, of course, but we should be fine. Ah, this can just run the post now. Oh no, wait. There's already a train going there. Um, Warsaw, maybe, instead. This should be making decent profit. I mean, we're, we're delivering what they demand, right? But... Still... I don't know, I'm interested to see the profits of the industry next year, although in a recession I suppose they go down as well, so... It's not going to be comparable to the income we have been making so far. Okay, the train is back, and it's carrying, I hope, two coal cars. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine, it's doing good. With three, three trains there, that's enough. Don't want to flood the line too much either. Oh, I missed on the passenger train. My bad for that, I suppose. 
Uh, from Warsaw, let's go to Lutz, I guess. This thing is going to Bratislava, it hasn't loaded up on a damn thing. But it's still in Gdansk, though. We cut my salary again, revenues are fine, net worth dropping due to the recession. Um, maybe go back to Gdansk and actually pick up, so that's nothing to pick up. But at least you can go to Gdansk and get rid of the cars. Alright, now let's check the profitability. Good on this. Mediocre, okay, so we're not bothering with that. 87,000, we can certainly push that further. This, 180,000, we can push that further for sure. 72,000 here, 51,000 there. 26,000 there. I mean, it adds up. 57,000 there, 56,000 there. 38, 37, 33, 65, 28, 27. Let's have a look at our... Uh, uh, industry profits. Yeah, 800,000 last year. We're going up and up. Uh, so let's see, actually. Industry investments. We spent 4.1 million on industry. And we made 4.6 million. So we're uh, half a million in plus. Everything that we make on industry right now is just pure profit. We have made up for what we put into the industry. And we're good. Right, but we need to get some more uh, profits ASAP and then start thinking about getting more wealth into my pockets after I... Well, so we get the wealth into my pockets, we meet the net wealth demand, I believe. And then, after that... Do we even care about this general area here? I mean, I guess... I guess... Because we could connect to St. Petersburg. Wasn't it St. Petersburg? The game said St. Petersburg, but there's no longer any, like, waste. Like, it's this thing. We need a uranium mine. So why should we connect to St. Petersburg now, then? There's no point. What the hell? Can we get a cheap train operating between... Like, per year? That's gonna be too much. Um, I don't know. Uh... Hmm. I want to kind of set up like a passenger route here. But that's... no, that's not going to work too well. God damn, I'm messing up a bit right now. There's no real point connecting all the way over here. I think we just... right now we just make our profits and then call it a day. Fucking hell, we're just going to retire this train. We don't have any use for it. Alright, we'll just make our profits from what we have already constructed, although we didn't really need to go further than this. And they've removed the uranium mine here, which was going to be my... What I banked on a little bit. It's just some sporadic industries. I think we funneled the money to my own pockets. Then we just, in one go, connect everything. Uh, with just like a lot of bonds or something. Once my net worth is good. Like by the end of the year. So it goes into... Like in December of one year. We make sure we have 20 million net wealth. And then some. Issue a lot of bonds. Just connect to all the places we need to connect to. So up until then, we just need to make this uh, run smoothly. And make a bunch of money. And increase the dividends so that we get the money in our pockets. There we go. 